Yo, it's Ryan, the Smart Web Tutor. I'm back again, and we're coming to another episode of Thursday Night Live. This is episodes that I do inside my internet marketing show group every week, Thursday night. Thursday Night Live, right? Thursday Night Live. And this is from the fifth week of episodes. This one's called Pack Your Marketing Bags. All right, this is an episode where we talk about you know, really packing your bags and figuring out where you want to go. What's your destination? And when you get to that destination, what are you going to do when you get there, right? This is about planning and about getting yourself out there and really kind of exploring the marketing land, right? And figuring out what places you're going to call home and what are the extra places that you're going to use to market in your business, okay? Because each of these destinations can be someplace that you're able to market your business and get yourself more traction, right? So this is another episode of the Internet Marketing Show, Thursday Night Live, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get going. Yo, it's Ryan. I'm back. It's Thursday Night Live. Thursday Night Live, once again. So just uh, wanted to say thanks for uh, joining me tonight. It's another special evening. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my comments up there. Just making sure everything's cool on here. I'm uh, sounding good. And my close-up is this better. All right, got my different glasses on tonight. Yeah, I got a lot of different glasses. Yeah, I also got my, I got my green drink too. We need to put in the good stuff, so I can put out the good stuff, right? Gotta always remember that. Um, so anyway, thanks for joining me on uh, Thursday Night Live. Um, the topic for the evening is packing your marketing bags, right? Packing your marketing bags. You know, just like uh, going on a trip, right? You got to prepare for this trip. Even, or if you're going to go on, uh, if you're going to pack your home and uh, move to another state, right? Or move to another city, move to another place in your city. Planning the trip and packing your marketing bags, right? Packing your bags so that you're prepared. You don't want to get to your destination and realize that, uh, you forgot something, right? That's the worst. You go someplace and uh, you end up, uh, you know, forgetting something out of your toiletries or something like that, right? And you're just like, oh man, forgot my toothbrush. So now you got to go find a little store and buy like a $10 toothbrush from this little convenience store in uh, some foreign city. And you're like, you know, 99 cent toothbrush, 10 bucks. What's up with that? Anyways. You want to be prepared. So getting prepared, understanding what you need to pack in order to get there, you know, and making sure that it's not some jumbled case, you know, last minute, throwing just last minute stuff in there and getting, you know, everything, single thing you can and then realizing you pay, you packed way too much. You know, you could have went with one bag rather than six bags, right? You didn't have to take all these bags. So, you know, I looked online and there was this thing, this, you know, ultimate, the ultimate packing list, right? The ultimate packing list for uh, your travels, right? Uh, uh, so the, the top, the top thing of obviously was, um, was your clothes and accessories, right? There's a lot of things on that list. A lot of things on the clothes and accessories, like they got underwear, they got socks, stockings, undershirts, bras, sleepwear, t-shirts, dress shirts, casual shirts, jeans, pants, shorts, dresses, skirts, sweaters, sweatshirts, formal wear, swimwear, coats, hats, gloves, scarves, umbrellas, laundry kit, laundry bag, leisure shoes, hiking, athletic shoes, walking shoes, dress shoes, sandals, belts, ties, jewelry, purses, Collapsible totes, underclothing document holders, oh my gosh, all these things, right? 
It's unbelievable. Right? You got the toiletries. Then you got the miscellaneous items. You got the carry-on, right? You got the carry-on bag. Not only do you have your main bag or a couple main bags, you also have your carry-on. You, know, you got your. You, you try to keep the really important stuff there, right? You don't want to. Definitely can't lose that. You don't want to lose any of those things, right? So, packing your marketing bags, right? Hey, it's Gail. What's up, Gail? Gail, it's good to see you. I'm going to give you a little heart there. Gail, Gail wins the contest. She's the first one to show up. Ooh, it's it's Matthew. I'm I'm sorry. I gotta figure out how to pronounce your name. Mathe. We never talked uh, like one to one, so I, I, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce your name. Put it in the the, the box so I can get it right. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I just was uh, just uh, talking about the the fact that we're talking about. Packing your marketing bags. Oh, yeah. So she did, did I say it right? I don't know why this thing keeps hovering over there. Doggone it. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, I was just talking about packing your marketing bags, right? Like when you're going on a trip and we're, uh, we're getting prepared to uh, what this journey is going to be. Like last week, uh, what did we talk about? We talked about um, the, your GPS your roadmap to your marketing success, right? In an early, another episode, we talked about, you know, uh, surveying the marketing land, you know, checking out, seeing what's going on, right? This time we're, we're, we, we, we figured out those things, we figured out where we want to go, but now we need to figure out what we need to bring, right? What are we going to pack when we come on our trip? What are we going to do when we're figuring out what we're going to do as a marketer online or, you know, promoting our products, doing the things that we're looking to do here. And, uh, you know, and are, are we packing too much, uh, you know, or do we pack enough? Did we pack the right things? Okay, so I got my little sheet here, and I'm uh, just going to talk about traveling, right? Right now we're just going to specifically talk about traveling. Obviously, we can also relay that into different things also, like moving into a new home or moving into a new city. You know, and making sure that we didn't forget anything, right? Did we turn off, did we make sure we closed all of our accounts for our uh, utilities and open up the new utilities in our new home? Um, and uh, those important things. Did we remember to bring everything, right? Did we forget the kids? Oh, I forgot the kids. Oh, no, well, not again, right? <laughs> so, uh, uh, hey, girls, good to see you. Look at this. The girls are always supporting me. Hit the likes. And uh, share with anybody if you're getting the good content, right? If you're feeling like you're getting the, the goods here, um, invite some of your friends to come on in. Sure would appreciate it. All right? Um, what we're going to talk about now is like when packing on a, for a vacation, the most important thing to keep in mind are the length of your trip, the weather, and non-standard clothing or gear you might need, right? So... How does that relate to marketing? Well, we can look at that as like, how long do you plan to do this, right? Do you plan to make this like a part-time thing? Do you plan to make it a a, a full-time job, right? You know, we're going to do this. We're, if we're going to do this, let's do it for the long run, right? We're going to we're, we're going to we're planning for a long trip. We're not planning for a short trip. So there's going to be some tools that we need. We're going to be some training that we need. We need to get some substance. If we're just making this a short time thing, just a small time deal, then we're not going to need as much. We're just going to need the necessities. We're just going to need a few things to get us started, and a few things, a few good tips, and we can we can do do some things there. But if we're going to make this the long time career, we're going to have to put some effort into it. We're going to have to put some time into it and some dedication, right? And then that's like uh, you know the non-standard clothes or, or you know what's the weather like? So what's the market like in your? What, what are you going? What 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 business are you in? What's the market like? How many? How much is your? Um, or how many competition do you have? Do you have? A, are you trying to fish in a giant pond um, with uh, you know everybody in the same pond? You know, trying to fish for one fish, 
or you in a market where there's a lot of fish and uh, and, and, the, and you got a lot of ease there because you realize that you know even if there's a lot of competition there's a lot there's a lot of people to serve and you know how how come there's you know uh, hundreds of thousands of churches right because they have a lot of people to serve they got a lot of people that they want to bring in right so what they're going to do is um, they're not going to worry about whether they're going to get anybody to come to the church. They're just worried about uh, getting out their message. They want to get their message out, and they hope that they can reach a good audience, right? So then you got um, your suggested tools, right? So, you know, and the, the non-standard clothing or gear you might need, right? So the suggested tools. So in the marketing field, we got different things like, you know, what training are you going to use? Um, what uh, uh, website platform are you going to use? Like, am I going to do WordPress? I'm going to use funnels, um, you know, like something like a click funnels or, you know, the gal here, like Matha, she knows uh, what we use. We use the funnelizer, right? The funnelizer gets us where we need to go. So, um, yeah, and we, 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 we find these tools. Also, we got things like, our uh, email autoresponder, which is something that you got to look into as well. You know, you could use some free services, or you could use stuff like um, you could use SMTP services, um, where you're using like your domain, or you could then use something professional like an autoresponder, like AWeber or GetResponse. And um, yeah, a lot of tools for sure. Yeah, Matha knows it. Right? There's a lot of tools to consider. Right. And then you got stuff like this. If you're going to become like if you're going to get into video marketing, you know, or doing stuff like lives, you know, you want to have a nice camera, something that looks good. Do I look good? Do I look all right? Do I look clear? I hope so. I think I look OK. All right. Um, you got to have a nice gear. Right. How does it sound? Does it sound good with the microphone? Does it sound good right here or back here? Right. I don't want to get too close. Right. I don't want to look like I'm having something uh, relations with this microphone or anything like that. So I'm going to stand back here and just be cool with it. All right. So you got the tools, you know, you got a nice computer, you know, one, one of these days I look like I want to have like a command center where I'm at uh, several screens. I'm able to concentrate on some different things, get things done more efficiently. You know, I got myself a nice microphone and I got a good uh, a webcam where I'm able to um, do a, a good solid program. Right. Um, just the webcam has a good microphone in it as well, but I got an external microphone that really works well. All right. So your first step when packing um, is to decide if you're you'll be checking your bags or only taking carry on and then curate the amount of clothing you'll need based on your decisions. So will you need heavier tools or just Swiss like a Swiss Army knife? All right. Are you going to just are you going to need the heavy duty tools? Right. Like you can be a marketer online. You can be a marketer online by just using your phone. Right. You can just use your phone and um, and be just fine. Right. The phone has a microphone on it. You can do your audio. Like if you're doing podcasts, you can record your audios on your um, phone. You can. Uh, record awesome videos. The, co the cameras nowadays have uh, fantastic video, right? They got great video and they got decent mics. If you're holding that phone close to your thing or if you got the good phone, uh, like a good phone where you can get like a, 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 a cabled mic uh, with a lapel on it or even a wireless that hooks up to your thing, right? So you could do your whole business off of your phone, right? Or if you got a good pad, like an iPad, you can do it off of that. And you're all set, right? I like to do stuff off of my computer because I got a lot of. Um, I like to have a big screen. I like. I don't like looking at a little teeny screen and all these different things and typing like this. I never was a big old texter or anything like that. Never got into that fast thing. You ever seen those little like? I don't know, you you gals might even do it. I don't know, Matha. How about you, Gail? You, can you do the fast texting? I can't do that. I'm not like a. I got big thumbs. I can't do that. How do you do that? You know, I see these little girls are like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. they type up a paragraph in like 10 seconds. Crazy, right? So anyway, 
Plus, I wasn't uh, born into that age, right? I wasn't like three years old learning how to text on a phone. I got the tech, I got the technology later on in life when I was like a you know clumsy older man going like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, no way, man. I I can't do it either, right? So, anyway, I, I I I got the rotary phone back in the day, right? You know, I was calling grandma. Hey, grandma, you know, what's your number? And I just keep dialing it, right? Just <laughs> right back and forth right and we know how that is so anyway do you need those heavy duty tools or do you, can you just use your simple tools like the like the Swiss Army knife you got all there you got the screwdriver you got the can opener you got the uh, you know another screwdriver you got a knife in there you got some pliers you got all the different things that you need right in that little tool right but if we're doing it seriously online, we're going to have to have some of these heavier duty tools. You know, we're going to have to have a nice hard hard drive on our computer. Like I got that um, um, solid state drive that makes my computer run nice and smooth. I got the nice camera. I got the nice microphone now, and uh, we're all set. So it's, it's up to you to decide what's that trip going to be like. Is it going to be that you know quick trip? You know, where you can just take the the, the, necess, uh, the bare necessities, or are you going to take that long trip and have to take those heavy-duty tools, the ones that really get you there, right? All right. If we're packing for a more, uh, more minimally, focus on packing layered clothing in more neutral colors so you can wear these items more than once when you're, when you're tight on space, right? So doing the marketing, we're... Uh, we want to make sure that what we're doing, the things that we're doing and the things that we use are going to be universal for, you know, for our market, right? We don't want to be so like, I mean, there's going to be a market for everybody, right? But if you can be, you can have yourself, you can, you can distinguish yourself as your individual product and your individual service, but then you also have, it's universal. So then you can, you know, you can spare, um, what are we going to call it? We could branch off and we can then become more universal to our audience and um, by wearing those neutral colors, right? You know, you get a little too fancy, um, you know, say you're out on that vacation and you brought all these different, you know, bright colors and then you realize that you didn't, you know, have something, you're, you needed to dress down, and you. But now you have all these these dresses or something like that, and you forgot to pack something that was a little more neutral, something a little more, um, you know, that you can go into different places. So if it's going to be like something that's more minimal, and you're bringing only that Swiss Army knife, you you might only need your cargo pants and uh, in a in a vest, a, a t-shirt and a vest, right? You're going to go in that jungle jungle hike, okay? So. Also, invest in clothing that does that does double duty, like multi-use wraps, crushable hats, self-cooling and heating fabric, like merino wool layers, bug repellent clothing, and etc. Right. So you want to make sure that the tools that you have are universal. So just like Metha and I, we um, you know we use a tool that anybody on the in the inline or on the online space can use. You know doesn't matter what kind of business that you're representing, right? Whether you're a network marketing, affiliate marketing, or, uh, you know, just a standard internet marketing, right? Or you're bringing your business online from uh, offline. You need to know that the tool set that you're using is universal to what you're, you're trying to accomplish, right? So, you know, we got so many different people that use the same tools, and we, we understand that they can use those tools for any type of business that they're trying to set up. We're making sure that the things that we pack, the things that we bring along, are things that we can use, that we can genuinely use. Because you'll find on your hard drive, if you look on your computer, you're going to find a lot of stuff on there that you never use, that you never had intention to use. You thought maybe it might be a good idea, but then it just becomes dust on the hard drive. You never end up using it, right? All right, there's Metha. She's still here. Cool. I got I got you there. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the laughing. Yep. My little one does. Oh yeah. Yeah, your your kid. Yep. Your kid probably does some pretty quick texting, huh? All right. I appreciate that. Yeah, my little guys, man. They're just staring into that doggone thing all the time. It's like, come on, guys. 
you got to do something else. You can't just play, uh, look into your phones and just look in the screen. Hey, but look at us. We're just looking in the screen right now ourselves, aren't we? All right. Well, that's our business. We're trying to create a business. So I'm telling my guys, I'm saying, hey, if you're going to play roadblocks or if you're going to do stuff like that, then let's try to figure out how you're going to do something. Like my uh, one of my guys, he's starting to build up his YouTube channel, right? And he's got like almost a couple hundred subscribers already. I'm like, that's sweet, you know? And then I helped him out. I like did some backlinks to his um I sent some backlinks to his channel so that um, he's building some extra like Google authority to his um, to his channel. And he's like, he tells me the next time he talks to me, he says, Dad, my uh, my my channel's up to you know so many su- subscribers. He's all excited, right? So you know the tools he needs. He needs like video editing stuff. He does his. He's got his little microphone and he does his little videos and he he just takes some music and and makes these little videos. And he's like doing like roadblock videos and different things. And then he gets his chat and he hits his 100 subscribers and he made a little video for that. So it's cool. You know it's exciting. And I told him I said, all right, well, if you're going to do these things, if you're going to spend so much dedicated time into it, then let's try to make it something that you really can maybe. Can make some money out of someday right because they're not doing so great in school but uh you know hopefully that changes but they you know if they can get passionate about something like i was never good in school i mean i was good at school but i wasn't i didn't love school but you know i found a way to get through it and made it worth my while because i loved being around other people and my my friends and going to school and you know and you you dress up in your new nice gear right and you got your your new backpack and you're all set and you're just you know you're you're gonna say all right you know every day's a fashion show at school and uh you know it's a the popularity contest and all these good things right so um let's get on with this so um it says when curating your packing list you should keep in mind the length of your trip and decide on quantities from there okay so earlier we talked about like are we going to make this the long run right are we going to make this business our life mission right okay some people just want to make it a tiny thing they just want to be like uh, make a little extra money they uh, you know i i'm i'm in this for the long haul i want you know i want this to be my main source of income right i haven't gotten to the point where my um i pe- tr- passed my my job um income right so um within this next year that's my goal is to surpass my my nine to five job income and that and have that as a steady monthly income recurring so that i can then comfortably leave my job because right now i'm still stuck in that um you know the the fear the fear of um, if I jumped all in, would I be able to, um, you know, pay all my bills? I got too many responsibilities to um, just back out on, right? I can't just go, okay, I can't pay this month. I have to pay. I got different things like child support and, you know, the, the, the house expense and the bill, the, all the utilities and, and such and such. And, uh, you know, we also have our expenses here online. We got our... Um, we got um, expenses for our tools that we're using, um, our training, you know, but those are valuable things. So we have to add those in as our standard, you know, standard monthly bills. You know, these are um, expenses, but then we're also going to look at these as necessities because we need them in order to, um, you know, make a business online. So um, we got the... Uh, you know, we got a we got a really good deal this year um, on our um, you know our upgrade to our um, thing, right, Matha? We got uh, um, we got uh, discounted from last year, so we're, we're stoked about that. But just just make sure that when you are thinking about it, you're also thinking about how long are you going to be doing this. If you're going to be doing this as just a little hobby, then you don't want to go crazy on spending too much money. But if you're going to make this a profession, just like you're going to be opening up a store, um, you're going to get. You need to get the good product in there. You need to get the good tools. You know, you get a good cash register. You need to get a, um, you know, security system to make sure that nobody breaks into your shop or you know, surveillance. All right. Um, anyway, those are the decisions that you need to make about your business. 
Also make sure to bring along accessories like money belt, scarf, or you know, sarong. It can be used for things like an airplane blanket covering up on the beach or throw over um, your dress on a cool evening. And a collapsible tote or day bag for any extra t items you might acquire on your travels. Or if you make a jump to a smaller island, maybe if you're out in like, um, you know, Hawaii and you decide you want to bump off over to Maui for a day or two, right? You have these main tools and then you got some extra tools, right? So, you know, an extra tool may be like an external hard drive to store all your videos um, that you're going to do. Or you buy, uh, like, um, like I have a business account with um, uh, Google, right? I got Google Suite or G Suite. So I have unlimited storage on my um, G Suite. Right? I can just uh, continue to upload stuff. But then if you got G Suite, you are still at the mercy of um, Google, right? So you, your account gets, uh, they, 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 I don't know whether they slap you. I, I haven't had the problem, but people have. Or, um, you know, Google's, just as much as we think Facebook um, is here for the long haul, um, we think Google's here for the long haul, um, just like anything, it can go. It can disappear, right? So um, we don't know that the power is going to stay on forever. We, we want it to. We hope it does, right? You know, I live in a hot climate. I hope the doggone power stays on because if not, then we're going to be uh, using a fan like this, right? Oh, so hot. Oh, like fainting. Oh, my gosh. I'm so hot, right? So... We want the power to stay on. We want the tools that we're using to continue to work. And if we're going to get those extra side tools, you know, like uh, maybe that lapel mic, so that uh, if we're outside and we're doing a professional video um, and we got our camera set up a little bit further away, then we got the, you know, good audio coming through to, to our camera. We don't sound like somebody that's standing 30 feet away from their mic and we can't hear them. By the way, uh, am I still sounding okay? Am I still standing? All right. All right. If you're still, if we still got an audience here, then um, let me know. And also hit the likes and, uh, you know, share this uh, if, you, if you want. I don't know if they're allowed to share out of the group, but, um, I, you know, if you, you dig what's going on, then, you know, the more the merrier. We're trying to, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to build, I'm not trying. I'm doing it. I'm working on getting this group where I'm building a community of people that may or may not have felt in their life, in their marketing life, and even out of marketing, that they find it hard to find a group that's welcoming, a group that like understands them and um, um, and wants to uh, to welcome them and uh, and uh, just understand their story. Right. I've been in a lot of different situations where you think the, the, the crowd is um, is friendly, but it turns out they're not there. Um, they're, there's lots of little clicks. Right. And I'm not talking about our things or other things specifically. I'm just talking about other groups or you may see that there's a like a special um, focus is always paid to certain people within that group. Right. So. The, there's left like the majority of the people are kind of always on the outside. They're always like on the outside looking in. They may be paying the money to get the stuff. They may be there, but they're like like um, outsiders even when they're inside. You know, so um, you may be like like I was in a fraternity in college, and in the fraternity. It's little clicks. There's clicks, right? We're all brothers, right? We're supposed to call it, we're all brothers. But there's clicks. So you got, you got your two or three, five, ten friends there, and then they got their three, five, ten friends. And then, you know, throughout the time, you hang out with all of them. But most of the time, they're, those people are hanging out with those and then that. But you end up finding out that, the, oh, that one guy, he doesn't like you too much. You know, you're like, what's the deal? I like everybody. I'm always got my hand out, ready to shake somebody's hand and just, you know, you know, peace, man. I love peace. Let's have peace. And, but 
online, what I'm trying to create here is a community of people that are understood and felt like they're, they're they feel like they're at home, you know, that feel like they're in a place that that cares. So, um, you know, building this group is something that I wanted to do, and I wanted to finally get out my message and be able to help other people. So that was just a little break there. So if you um, are watching this video uh, right now or the replay, I'd be um, honored and, uh, and thankful if you decided that um, what I'm saying here is something that's useful and you can invite some people to come to this group and, um, and then I'll, uh, you know, I'll uh, let them in and so that they can come to the Thursday Night Lives. All right. All right. So back to the lesson. All right. So we're back to the lesson about packing your marketing bags. Right. So we've gone through some different steps. We know about like make, maybe making sure that if you're going on that long trip or that short trip, you know, are you packing heavy? Are you packing light? Um, you know, are you packing the extras? Are you packing some of those extra little things? You know, there's a lot of little tools that we can use online. You know, there's a lot of little tools. I'm a tool junkie. I got so many tools. I got some really cool ones. And I got some others. I don't even know what the hell they do. I bought them. But it's just too much. There's too much, right? It's nice to have to know that you have the backup. That you have the surety. Like, oh yeah, I got that. I could do that, right? So then you just kind of dabble in it. You know, I don't pay for Canva. Because I have other tools that do exactly what Canva does. And just the same. So, um, you know, I bought those like a one-time price, and I get to use them for life. As long as those companies stay with us, I get to use those, right? I was doing the the Canva uh, monthly, but I ended up uh, not um, needing it. Now I just use the Canva Basic, and then I use my other tools. So, like editing pictures and stuff like that. I have one called Stencil. I got another one that's called Designer. No, uh, design. Uh, des what is it? Design bold. Yeah, design bold. And then I got one other one called Uzine. So the Uzine and uh, all these these three combos, I can create all my graphics, all the different things. I don't need any help with it. I got it all covered, right? So those are these extra little tools that you end up needing along the way, right? So you know, making sure. Um, also, uh, let's see. Um, so. Next, next thing is, depending on the type of trip you're going on, you may need to invest in some special travel gear, right? So if you, like what we talked about a little bit ago, like if you become a YouTube, uh, YouTube authority, you want, you're trying to become an authority on YouTube and, or an influencer there, right? And you're, de you're developing your channel. You're going to need a good camera, right? You're going to need something like some good software to do some um, good videos. Um, you may invest in something like Camtasia or, you know, um, I have a, a one that's a, a, again, I bought another tool that's like Camtasia, um, but it was a, a good price. It was only like, I don't know, 50, 60, maybe 70 bucks for a lifetime license for a product. Um, you know, I'm just looking out for these things. I like to get good deals and I got something called Wondershare. Um, it's an uh, uh, awesome, um, you know, editing software. And then they have like a marketplace where um, you could get templates. So you can have these fancy um, backgrounds and, um, and like transitions in your videos, different things like that. So if you're becoming a marketer on YouTube, then you're going to need some specific tools. You're going to need some good uh, editing software. You're going to need a good camera if you're doing like personal uh, videos of yourself on camera. Um, you know, or you're going to use some different tools where you're doing like screen um, capture videos where you're showing people um, how to do things. Um, um, you know, you have a good mic, you, know, you use a good mic. Oh, Sasan, how are you? She's here. All right. Look at that. She's waving at me. I'm going to give you a little heart here. Now, it's only giving me the likes some reason. Do you guys ever get the, th uh, when you tr you go over the, the like button and it takes a while for it to actually show up? Like it doesn't, 
automatically pop up with those options, you know. So then you're left with just doing the the like. I like doing the heart, uh, the, the the hearts, or I like doing the the care. I like I care about the things. I care about you guys, and I appreciate you for being here. That's why I always like doing the care because I care about things. I got a lot in my heart, so that's why I'm putting my effort into this group. All right. So for more active for more active trips, make sure you have a sturdy pair of hiking boots, quick drying clothing, a day pack, snacks, and any necessary equipment check out the specific packing list for hiking trips and camping trips right so you end up having lists like remember uh, earlier on in the in the thing i talked to you about there was a packing list right there's a specific packing list when you're going on these trips and you got all these different things right these are all the things that you can like eventually bring on your trip you, and you end up being like somebody that's going like on a short trip and you end up with like three bags you're like i, I just want to make sure i got enough right and you know i like to usually travel with you know several options i don't like just being like i'm going to wear one pair of you know, greasy dream, jeans and uh you know a couple t-shirts I like to have some options. So, you know, usually my bag's kind of heavy. But just like that, in the marketing aspect, you know, if we're going to travel and we're, we know that our, our trip's going to be a tough one, we need some of that rugged gear. We need some of those heavy-duty tools, right? And some of those tools, you know, you can get the basic or you can get the premium, right, Matha? Right? We get the basic, the small stuff. We get the only the, the minimum. Or we go up premium and we end up getting stuff where we're like, yeah, I got the total stuff. I got the right tools. I got all the stuff. I got the right training, right? Salsan, Gail, we understand it. We also uh, we also were in another group and we, uh, we we dedicated something there. We put ourselves in a, in a place where, you know, we better make this thing happen. We better make this thing happen because we got a lot invested. So, um, you know. We we uh, we got to make sure that we got those right tools, right? Another another type of um, another type of trip that you may need to pack slightly specific items for is a cruise, right? So not only are we just like we're we're all the in this marketing, right? And we decided what like we wanted to be um, maybe we're doing Pinterest or we're doing um, Instagram or LinkedIn or we're just uh, cho choosing a different platform. You know, a lot of people are doing it on Facebook, right? Right now we're on Facebook. But these other little places, like these are our other little trips. We're going over to uh, Pinterest now, and we're going to, what do we need over here on Pinterest? Well, Pinterest is mostly design, right? So we're going to need that good design software. So we can make some nice banners. We can make, make nice images. We can do good lettering on our um, images. Um, you know, we, we, if we're doing like personal photos, we need a good camera. So our phones got great cameras on them these days. We're able to take some really nice pictures with our cameras. And, um, so you're going to be using your camera to take nice pictures and posting on, uh, Pinterest, you know, maybe you're a, a chef and you're taking pictures of your, or, you know, your, your pictures of your pastry, pastries that you're cooking, right? So your, your pie that you bake tonight or your, uh, cupcakes or whatever it is, you know, there's a lot of that on there and, or really cool pictures of like interior design. All right, so you gotta have that eye. So what are the tools you need on that? So we're gonna go over to LinkedIn, and now LinkedIn's more about the business and like presenting yourself for your business, right? And what tools do we need over there? Well, we might need like some kind of LinkedIn, uh, we might need to buy their LinkedIn, uh, what's that, LinkedIn Navigator, where you're um, having extra abilities to prospect um, on your clients on there where you're able to like reach out and really talk to people rather than having limits on your uh, your abilities there um you know you may end up having some things you might have to invest in maybe some uh, uh content creation um training where you're um learning how to write better copy for your for your posts on linkedin right because if you're going to be on linkedin you're going to maybe create groups there and uh, you're going to maybe do blog posts there like not blog posts but posts and um, learn how to write good uh, posts the different tools because you go into another place so you gotta like 
remember that each place, each place you go is going to require some different things. Lastly, you need to consider the weather, right? What's the weather going to be like when you get to that place? What's the environment, right? Um, some places that you go, like you go to LinkedIn, LinkedIn's going to be a little more professional, right? It's going to be more professional because people are wanting to do business to business, a little bit more professional, or they're going to want to promote their, their service and they're going to try to create a group of people that are their clients, right? So, um, or if you go to Pinterest, Pinterest, um, Pinterest is a little more um, designy, a little more um, artsy, right? Or you go to TikTok, and TikTok's a little more fun, you know, a little short videos and a little more goofy, and uh, just having fun with it all. You go to uh, YouTube, and you're gonna um, have another thing, right? So you're just figuring out what the weather's like, what's the what's the environment like in those places, and be sure to when you go there that you're prepared. Like, um, okay, uh, so I, just something that popped up in my head. So like, say you're going to the prom, right? When you're going to the prom, you better make sure that you got your uh, the corsage for your date, right? You need, you need the corsage, and you need, you need to make sure that you you scheduled the limo, you know, the, for the right time right? if you're going to get a limo. You can go that style. I didn't. I, I think I took a limo at one point or another. Not when I was in high school. When I was in high school, I had like a 1977 Subaru station wagon. Oh boy, that one. That wasn't a. I mean, that was a cool car for like the guy, but taking your date out on it. But you're only a kid, so what, what are they gonna say, right? They didn't have a car anyways. All right. So. Um, to help things or to help keep things organized, we love using package cubes and compressed sacks, right? Um, they are especially useful when you're traveling from multiple destinations in one trip. So there's these extra little tools that you could bring along that are helpful when you get there. Um, you know that uh, make it easier so that you know if you don't have those things when you get there, you can go and learn about what you need, and then you can go to Amazon or wherever you decide to go get your tools. Um, and, um, and, and, you know, get them so that you are, are prepared the next time you arrive, right? You, 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 the last time I went to such and such, you know, I went to Norway um, to see my kids, you know. Um, it's good to know some of the, the dialect because, you know, you go to maybe you're out and you're going to go parking and you see a sign. You don't know whether the sign says you can park here or you can't. And then you end up coming back and your car has got a ticket on it. You're like, doggone it. You know, um, you know, especially when you're in the, those cities. I'm like, I don't even want to drive. I just want to walk around because uh, then I avoid having to park my car and like try, trying to figure out what I need to, you know, whether I'm going to get a ticket or not. And then you're just wondering how to pack all your items, right? You don't wanna, you don't wanna be wondering well, how to do it. You know, you know you have three suitcases, right? You, you know you have one small one, you got a medium sized one, and a large one, and you have that option. Like I said, I'm gonna take the small trip, so I'm gonna just, I only need the small bag. And then I got the, I'm gonna take the medium sized trip. It's only gonna be a week, right? So I need a few extra clothing items, and I'm gonna take that. And I'm gonna take a backpack because it'll have my my laptop in it, my my maybe my tab, and you know some of those other things. Maybe my wallet. I keep that all those things. If you're gonna go across the sea and you're gonna be a longer vacation, you know you got you got your big back bag, right? You might even take two. And then you got your backpack and your um, and you got all your necessities. You got your passport. You got your. Um, you maybe you got your prescription if you're doing that. Hopefully you don't. But you know, here's my prescription. It's the green drinks, right? Mm. Ah, that's the medicine, right? Putting in good foods, keeping yourself healthy, so that when you are trying and working hard on your business that you don't get worn out, right? It's easy to get worn out. I get worn out because I'm basically working two jobs. I'm working the one job, and then I'm working the the nighttime. I'm also, like, in between, I'm doing stuff, trying to, like, juggle both of them. And uh, then, you know, man then managing the home. And then, uh, like, dealing with stuff with uh, with my ex and the, 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 the boys. And... Um, you know, always something more, 
And eventually you're like, ugh. You know, I can feel it in my throat right now. Just talking. I'm getting a little worn out. Right? So, anyway. There's those little things, too, you don't want to forget, right? The toiletries. The toiletries. Those are the little intricate things. The things that, you know, when you go someplace, it's a pain when you don't have it. You're like, doggone it, forgot the toothpaste. Now you got to go to some store in Norway and pay 10 bucks for a, a, a tube of toothpaste that should be like two. You're like, darn, darn it, you know, forgot that. Oh, man, I forgot my, you know, whatever. Something else. You, for, you forgot your clippers, right? You forgot your clippers. Now you got a big old hangnail. And you're like, oh, man, you're trying to bite it off. And then you're like, oh, darn it. <laughs> Should have brought my clippers. Anyway, um, just remember, those are the little things. So that's why you end up having your list. And it's good to make the list and understand what you need. If somebody has that list and is able to provide it for you, if there's things that you are missing in your business, then, uh, you know, put it down. You know, list it here. Put it in the chat. You know, things that you think that you might be missing. Um, you know, I got a lot. I got access to treasure troves of information, treasure troves of uh, resources. And if uh, you guys need the training on or a book on um, Pinterest, you want to learn about uh, LinkedIn, you want to learn about um, something else, just hit me up. It's probably, I probably have easy access to it and uh, can get it to you right away, all right? Uh, free of charge. Um, it's, uh, these things are easy to find. Um, it's just the thing is, is that you don't want to be out getting yourself spread out too far, right? So just as much as when you're packing um, to get ready for your trip, right? You don't want to have, you want to make sure that the things that you're doing is all the stuff that's in your house, or if you need to, you, need, you make that quick trip to, to Walmart to get all the last things, right? You don't want to go to Walmart and then the Walgreens and then the, to go to the, the, the mall and then go to this other place and this other place and this other place. You want to make it convenient. You want to make it a quick trip. You don't want to have to be spread out all over the place, right? So just making sure that you're all prepared and then you're not running ragged trying to find everything in all different places, okay? So, um, packing tips for everything else. Traveling without tech items like your phone, laptop, tablet, and camera could be a major bummer. For those traveling abroad, you'll also want to remember to pack electronic adapters and converters, right? Just make those specific things, making sure that you're prepared, right? Are you prepared to do this? Right? We think we're prepared when we bought like some major program. Okay? Well, we go through this major program and then we realize we don't have anything that they said that we, they, we needed. Right? Or they didn't really tell you what you needed. They said that they would, but they really didn't. Right? The program says, you know, how to do this. Right? And then they didn't realize that you had to do all these other things. Right? How, what if you decided to take a, 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 a boat trip um, and they didn't have any or go on a cruise and they didn't tell you anything that you needed, right? If you're going to come to this place, we need you to make sure you have your passport. We need to make sure you have some documents. We need to make sure you have this, 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 and this. But all of a sudden you got to the, like, the port and you wanted to you started to board and they said, uh, uh, sorry, sir, uh, you, you forgot this. And I'm like, oh, well, you never said so. I needed that. Um, maybe I should have done more research. You know, I did that one time. I was, uh, I, I moved to Norway when I um, went uh, back in 2011. I moved over to Norway to be with my kids. And unfortunately, that didn't work out. But the sto moral of the story was is that I was I meant to be there for like six months just to, to see. Um, if the relationship was going to work out, if I was going to, you know, um, if everything was going to be cool, if I was going to like it there, how it was going to work out, finding a job, learning the language, all these different things. Well, I got to the airport and they told me, well, sir, you can't only go for three months. You only have a passport. In order to stay longer, you need a visa. And I had no idea. And the... Um, the ex, she never told me that um, 
that I needed a visa. But when she found out that I was only going to be there for three months, oh boy, she was mad. And she was already mad at me to begin with, but then she was even more mad. So not being prepared, not being prepared can get you in trouble. All right. So let's not get in trouble. We don't like getting in trouble. All right. Oh, no. Yeah. Method knows. All right. We don't like being in trouble. Kids don't like being in trouble. Adults don't like being in trouble. It's and there's no reason to be in trouble unless you're doing something wrong. And if you're not doing anything wrong, then why the heck are you mad at me? <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that, we'll go away from that subject. All right. So a travel pack, uh, packing tri uh, tip we, we've learned the hard way. Travel with a copy of your passport and credit cards and bank contacts, such and such, right? And so the way I, I, I use this as an example was using getting the right things, right? So having things handy, like your account logins, right, and your passwords, access keys, right, or your activation codes to your software, right? If you don't package these things up, if you don't have them handy, you know, have folders in your drive where you have these things ha available. Write them down on a, like in a book, too, so that if your computer fails or um, something happens, then you can recover them, right? Um, you know, have URLs, make a spreadsheet um, where you have the URL to an active um, login page, and then you have your um, pa um, your username and then your password, so that and then you can print that spreadsheet. And, and it's also a, a handy thing too for um, like you know for your will. So um, if you're preparing, we're not prepare I'm not preparing to die, but in the, just that case, right? Things happen and it's unexpected, right? I've had a friend um, like 10 years ago who died. Um, a good buddy of mine that was in my fraternity, and um, God love him. Uh, and you know who knows how it was, but the thing is, is that if you like, you could set up your Facebook for um, you could set up your Facebook for family. Um, it's like you can have like somebody that's like your um, what's it called a beneficiary for your account, so that when if you don't have you, if you didn't set up your passwords and all that stuff um, outside and like leave it in your will or your family, because um, all your accounts, they people somebody needs to go into them and either close them down, uh, like because like if you got like a billing or whatever, um, or um, you uh, like with Facebook, right? Somebody needs like somebody dies unexpectedly, and all of a sudden you might start seeing posts by their uh, by their spouse saying, you know, unfortunately so and so has died, and um, their um, you know their ceremony not ceremony but their um, uh, whatever it's called burial and uh, reception and all this stuff is going to be taking place on such and such day, and that's how I found out about my friend, is that uh, I found it out on Facebook. Um, you know, we've uh, we've been blessed with Facebook because we've been uh, given the opportunity to, re uh, to reach out to old friends that we hadn't seen in a long time. Uh, sometimes it's a disappointment because the ones that you thought that you might be really, they might have been really interested in, like, having a conversation again, turn out they don't, um, and some do. And then we meet new friends, the ones that we're seeing online. Ones that are joining me here on uh, uh, on my uh, live, um, on this live here, Matha and Salson and Gail earlier, um, and um, some of the other ones that joined last week too. Uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys joining me here. So, uh, you know, just again from the bottom of my heart, I'm very thankful and I'm just appreciative of you stopping by. Um, um, other items. Okay, the other thing was. Ooh, I got a little choked up there. Okay, maybe I got a little tear even. It's special. It's special when you are doing something and then you got support, right? Um, young child being in development stage needs positive re reaffirmation to let them know that they're doing something 
that's good or right. Adults need it. It's a it's a it's a form of love. It's a form of love that shows appreciation and shows that there's value there. Right? We can be lost sometimes in this life, especially as adults, where we um, are trying to figure out to, uh, what's our value anymore, because. We've lost it into all different things. We lost it into our jobs. We lost it into our kids. We lost it into an unappreciative uh, spouse or partner. We lost it in um, uh, uh, unappreciative friends that just take advantage, maybe. Um, you know, I've been fortunate to have like, mm, gone through life without having too much of these feelings of like being taken advantage of or what have you, but many people have had that. And getting the support from the loved ones or people just in general, even in like our groups, right? We're getting lots of support from people that are showing us that they um, that they understand or they're, um, they're listening to our story. They're giving us support to their, um, you know, um, giving and boosting our morale. Because um, otherwise, sometimes it could just seem like it's fleeting, and we don't uh, we don't know why we're doing it. Um, I'm going to continue to do this because um, it's like an artist that uh, says, "Well, if nobody looks at my picture, there's no reason in drawing it, right? Or no reason in painting it." Um, that doesn't make sense. Now, if somebody's getting paid for the job, and then they they need to publish the work then that's a different story because now there's a time frame and everything set on it and they have they have an obligation now um, the only obligation I have to this right now is to myself I'm building this community and there's going to be an obligation for me to show up right um, even though uh, the, the community may not I'm going to continue to show up and you know work to grow the group um, and hopefully provide a place where people again what I said earlier a place where people that may or may not have felt like they were ex like extremely welcomed in a place where they thought they should have been you know and we felt that in a lot of different areas of our life and um, for me building a group where um, you know, like kind of like the, the show Cheers, you know, where everybody knows your name type of a thing. And, you know, where, um, you know, where people come and um, and they're welcomed uh, and not and not and don't feel like an outsider when you're here. Right. Um, it's important that people don't feel like that kid in the back of the class, because you know what the kid in the back of the class does? He goofs off. And he uh, makes, uh, you know, makes a stink because nobody's paying attention to him. Nobody's giving him reassurance or her reassurance that it's okay. You know, if you're working online, if you've been working online for a while and, you, and you're still trying to figure it out, you're still trying to get a grip of what's going on here and you feel like maybe you're like a little bit more of an outcast and you, you haven't been welcomed that much, then this is the place. I'm building this group. Um, I'm calling it the Internet Marketing Climb because that's what it's kind of like. It's a climb. You know, it's a climb to the top, right? We're going from the zero to the hero. We're, um, we're reestablishing our, like, our lease in life. You know, we're climbing to the top. Salson, you and I are doing our little um, uh, 21 days right now, and uh, I know you, uh, you know, you, you mentioned a lot of times some of the things that are like, uh, you know, spiritual, and I appreciate that because it's that same thing, okay? Life is that, you know, it's the climb, right? We're climbing up, right? We're not climbing down, right? You know, I don't believe in the down thing, but again, there is a there's a place where people go sometimes where they try they dig themselves in a ditch right and it's very hard sometimes to get out of that ditch to climb yourself climb climb out but as we're climbing 
let's not keep falling back down. You know, when we're making progress, when we're climbing up, let's continue to keep going up, right? Let's keep reaching for higher grounds so that we can become better people, we can create better things, we can help more people, we can impact more people, we can uh, just leave this place better because we were here, right? That's just, I think that's the whole point. And the main point is just to love yourself completely. Um, loving yourself completely. Honoring yourself, honoring, you know, the maker. And uh, loving yourself completely so that uh, when you go to do your work, there's no resentment. There's not, none of this. You're loving yourself completely so that when you do your work, you're loving through your work, your, your work becomes love. Your work becomes love to other people. And when that love is shown, then other people grow, right? The sun shines on all people. The sun shines on all people, and it's creating and it's giving the same love. It's creating and giving the same love to each and every one of us. So, through our work, Let's also be that light. Let's also shine that light on our clients, our, our, our clients, our customers, whatever you want to call it, right? Because if you're a dentist, it might be a client or a patient, right? You're, you know, the flower, florist and be a, a customer, right? If you're a coach, it's going to be a client, right? So let's shine the light. Let's make this the real deal. And if we're going for the long haul, then let's make that climb steady. Okay. Sometimes if you shoot up too quick, it falls down quick, right? Like the stock market. Make that steady climb and continue to see the, the increase. Consider, you know, continue to follow the path up. All right. So what did we learn here? Okay, one last thing about the, the travel. One last thing about the travel. There's unexpected stuff, right, along the path. So what did we have last year? We had something very unexpected, right? I'm going to call it the C right now. We had the C, right? And it ended with 19. So when we have these unexpected things come our way, on our path, right? So we're all ready, we're all packed, and all of a sudden, something hits you, right? The unexpected, special, right? The unexpected obstacles on your journey, right? Or even special occasions, right? Okay, so you you had plans, you had the plans, but something else happened, right? Something else happened. Maybe there something else happened, like a friend uh, is getting married, and uh, you know it's your best friend, and you can't miss it. So the trip that you need, you were going to go do, you decided to go do it later because you know I don't want to miss my friend's special occasion. So you know things like tragedy and the different things like last year and what have you um, also sparked a lot in other people, like to bring out the best in them. Okay, so we got to look at these things not as like these challenges, right, or obstacles. They're just like stepping stones, right? So you, you might look at a rock in front of you as, a, as an obstacle, but you can also look at it as a booster, right? If you step up on the rock, you could see further. You can see further out there, right? So let's not look at the things that are in front of us as obstacles or um, you know or problems we look at these things as things that are presenting themselves to us because it was necessary things that came to us because we were we were um, we were in need of it right like I spoke I spoke last uh, week about uh, you know I, I'll speak candidly about uh, alcohol abuse, right? So I was talking last week 
about this cup, right? The cup that I drink from, right? This is a, it's looking a little dingy because I got my I had my smoothie earlier today and now I'm having like a, a, a the a, the green drink, right? So, but I used to drink my beers. At this place, the Brooklyn Bowl, okay, the Brooklyn Bowl, and they sell these big beers there. They're like fourteen bucks for a big old beer. Maybe they sell a cheaper beer. I don't know what it was. It was it was a crummy beer, but it it was like Paps Blue Ribbon or something like that. They'd sell for ten bucks in this cup. Right, so ten bucks, and that was an obstacle in my life. Right, there was a lot of fun in it. I had a lot of good times. I met a lot of beautiful people, but I was also enjoying things with people that were also doing the damaging stuff to themselves. The 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 destructive thing in my life helped me grow the most. How's that? How's that possible? Right? Now, we can be in like the ultimate easy relationship, one that's like really happy, we're having fun, and that's nice and all, right? I love it. I, I want that. I want that. Um, but what, what's the growth in there? You know, your, your, your love your love tank, your spiritual height in your relationship, your connection can be really high. But when things are easy, usually you're not doing a lot of thinking about how you can improve because things are going like easy. So when those things come about, like the challenge of, you know, what's the decision? I remember making a call one day, not a call, but I remember praying one day, um, after I'd done something dumb and uh, praying that uh, that you know this thing would be lifted from me right that uh, the spirit of uh, alcoholism would be lifted from me one day you know years even years before I had gone even to like some 12-step program you know like I was like ah, this stuff isn't teaching me anything right and just continued to drink and uh, but then um, finally one day I was sitting there and, uh, you know, after another night of, uh, of debauchery, and um, I just got this message in my head. And I said, it said, you've been delivered, right? I was like, what the heck is that? I mean, that's not common speak for me, being delivered. Uh, but the voice in my head, the voice uh, from above was talking to me and telling me, that I'd been delivered, that I had been freed of this, uh, the wicked spirit that had been dominating my life for many years. Um, and it was gone, right? I've been able to do and enjoy all the things I did before I was, you know, doing the things. Because I used to even, like, I'd go to a movie and I like to have a beer beforehand because it just get a little tipsy and make a, the funny movie even a little more funny, right? Um, and, uh, you know, I never looked back. So now six years, uh, well, six years, five months to the day, um, I'm uh, sober. So I not didn't don't need that stuff anymore. And uh, you know, but the lessons within it, like, probably made me grow spiritually the most. So we can't always look at uh, these things as negative. Um, it's all part of our journey. So we're here. We're having this journey. Let's love it. Let's lo let's be love. And let's express the love that we have within ourselves so that others can feel it as well. Right? So hopefully that puts a little bit more light into you know, what I'm trying to teach here. And then also what you can put into your efforts when you're like creating your product. When you're bringing your uh, or if you're like representing a product, what you're bringing out to the public and to make sure that what you're trying to do is really help. What you're trying to do is not just provide something else that somebody doesn't really need, but really will help them in their life. That'll get them further. That'll like bring them closer to, you know, the light. That'll bring us closer to 
the up, right? Where we're going is we're climbing like this, the internet marketing climb. And within this group, I'm welcoming all people that are feeling like they still haven't found it yet online. They're like, you know, I want everybody here. I want, of course, let's bring them all in. But mostly it's like, look at like, I have been doing this, but I'm not finding it. I'm not finding it. I'm trying to go higher, but it's not working yet. All right, let's pack those bags correctly. Let's look at the things that we're trying to do. Let's get those bags packed efficiently. Let's take the right items. Let's move on forward. And, uh, you know, that's uh, packing your marketing bags. And this is Thursday Night Lives every every uh, Thursday night, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be uh, bringing out a new episode. And, um, you know, I'm having a good time doing this. I hope you gals uh, enjoyed. And whoever is on the replay, you know, if you're here watching the replay, hit the like. If you're here live, hit the like, loves, whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, let's keep doing it. Let's move forward. I want to I want to move forward not backwards all right I enjoyed that when it happened some of it wasn't all that great but you know what I have this way to go all right I have that way to go and I need to get there right in a specific amount of time hopefully and so that uh, you know I don't get left behind you know don't want to be left behind like uh, Macaulay Culkin and Home Alone Boy, he had some adventures, didn't he? He had some of those adventures. His parents left him. They forgot him. Can you imagine? Mommy, Daddy, where are you? Everybody's gone. But now I got the house alone, and I'm just going to beat up on these crooks. Right? All right? One of the funniest. Love the movie. All right. Well, Matha, Sausan, Gail. I don't know if Gail's still here, but... I really appreciate you guys joining in. I hope you enjoyed this episode of um, the Thursday Night Live. And um, if you found it something that you would love to be able to share with some friends, then uh, be sure to invite them to the group. I really appreciate that. And uh, because uh, let's build a, an, another culture, you know, another cool place to hang out, another place that you could feel safe, another place that you could feel loved. And appreciated. Okay? All right, then. Have a great Thursday night. And if I don't see you, we'll probably see you both. I'm, I'm going to see you gals tomorrow. We'll see each other in the groups and we'll see each other in the other um, events that we have. And, um, you know, much love. All right? God bless and we'll talk to you later. Uh, this is Thursday Night Live and we're out. Have a good night.